Today, folks, I want to talk about a single pole switch. I know there's lots of videos out there for single pole switch. I want to make this very simple for you. I've been doing this since 1985. Really not much to it. This here is a 15 amp switch. It's only supposed to use copper or copper clad, no aluminum because the aluminum expands and contracts and it can cause a fire. Just so you know, as electricity runs through the wires, there's like 20 million electrons per second running through. So all your connections need to be extremely tight. All your copper connection, your panel boxes on your outlets and on your switches. So always keep that in mind. Everything has to be done tight. This particular switch has its UL approved ratings. Uh, it has, uh, this is a 15 amp switch also. The reason I'm holding this up to you has off is down and on is up. Locations that this particular switch probably is used is in bathrooms, maybe over the kitchen sink, maybe in a bedroom, and those are general locations. Usually, you want a three-way switch going across your living rooms or across your long dining rooms, okay? So I'm gonna take a moment here, show you how to wire the switch very simply, and you'll be able to do it yourself. I wanna show you this switch here. Here's the ground. And as a general rule, we always say grounds on first, grounds off last. So always put your ground wire on first. And then in this particular case, you've got two brass screws. One's going to come from the light and one's going to come from the power. So what I generally do is I put my power at the top and my light at the bottom. That way when I flip it on, my power's hit, flip it off, my power's off on the switch leg. So that's how simple this switch here is, right here. All right, so let me show you how to hook it up. So we're in the process, we're gonna hook this switch up. And like I said, grounds are first on, and I've got the wires just for the sake of time of the video. I've already got the wires pulled out of the box. We've got it all stripped out. I want you to notice I've got, this here's the outdoor light, okay? So this will be the switch leg. This here's my power. You notice I've got all the power tied in with the other hots. There's another switch here going to another location, and here's all the grounds. I've got the grounds all twisted together, and I've got them wire knitted together as tight as I can get it. Sometimes I even take my side cutters and just twist it just a little bit more. But see, I noticed I've got all this curls. That means I've really torqued it. So I'm gonna do this very simply for you. The tools that you'll need are really, uh, as electricians, we use, I call them side cutters. And you wanna put these on with the screw to the right because as you're tightening your screw up it'll tighten the wire up let's see i've got that the tools that, another tool that you may need sometimes will be a needle nose okay so i don't need the needle nose right this second i want to hold it down grounds first on last off like we're talking about okay now here is your, a lot of people tried to backstab. Backstab is a bad idea. Do not backstab because sometimes they don't set right. I personally, I have all my guys and we always put our screws underneath the wires. Okay, so I'm gonna put the switch leg on the bottom like I told you and I'm just gonna barely strip it back a little bit. I'm going to put the hot on top, twist it back, okay, so this is the hot wire, see how I got you, come with all the other wires, so I'm going to take it, off, take this right here, we'll set it in there very tight, I'm going to torque it down, okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to, see how, see how much pressure I put on this? It's very important that it's done very tight. I'm gonna take this here. Get this one all ready. I've already backed the screws out a little bit already before I even got the video going. So now I'm gonna take it. You have, there's a special screwdriver you can buy nowadays. It'll actually fit right in this little square. I just don't have mine with me. <clears throat> okay. And then y'all just wanna check and make sure it's nice and snug. And then all we're gonna do then, we would just take the wires and I always push my grounds in first. And I'm not gonna fasten all in because this is just literally for uh, video purposes, how to put up the switch. 
then we'll just take it and we'll screw it in right there. If you like this video and you understand it, that's great. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will get back with you, okay? Just always make sure the power's turned off. The tools that you need are a regular screwdriver, a Phillips, and a pair of side cutters. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thanks.